Good morning boys and girls, I hope you're all well. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and you are ready for a new week of guided reading. This week we're going to be looking at a new book, but first let's remind ourselves of our reading strategies. You can use any of these to help you with your reading. The ones I want you to focus on are your eagle eye and stretchy snake. Let's have a go at a stretchy snake of our own. Swimming. What? Im ing. You have a go for me? Good job, well done. Let's have a go all together one more time. Swimming. Sw im ing. Good job, well done. The book we're going to be looking at this week is called Toad Swims for His Life. Toad Swims for His Life. Welcome to the animal games. Toad shivered as he stood at the end of the pool. It was his big day. He was going to swim in the 50 metres race. There was a big crowd at the pool. Toad peered down into the blue water. When he saw the other swimmers, his heart began to beat faster. Do I have to swim against them? But at that moment, a loud voice boomed out. Welcome! In lane one, we have Shelley Sharp, champion of the sea. Don't get in my way or I'll rip you all to shred. Toad clamped his mouth shut. He tried to put on a brave face. In lane two, we have Sammy the water snake, champion of the lake. See, Sam slide so smoothly and swim with such speed. Toad's eyes almost popped out of his head. In lane three, we have Terry Tiger, champion of the jungle. I am fierce and strong. I will overtake you all. Toad's knees began to knock. In lane four, we have Carly Crocodile, champion of the river. Snap, snap, snap. I make it snappy. Anything snappy makes me happy. Toad was wobbling like jelly. Toad wanted to go home. He did not stand a chance against all of these other animals. Slowly, he began to crawl f away from the pool. Suddenly, he heard his name. And last, in lane five, we have Tommy Toad, champion of the pond. I am very small and my legs are not very long, but I will do my best. The crowd cheered. Toad could not get away now. The race was about to start. The crowd was cheering and shouting, waving and clapping. On your marks! Toad was as jumpy as a jack in the box, but he crawled to the edge of the pool and was about to plop in the water when suddenly... Carly Crocodile began to snap. Your little bones will crunch when I have you for my lunch. Terry Tiger began to growl. My legs are strong. I swim like a fish. You'll, you will make a tasty dish. Sam Snake began to hiss. Slide in, son. Swim on my back so I can swallow a super snack. Shelly Shark began to snarl. Don't you dare come near me or I will eat you for my tea. Gulp. Poor Toad, what was he going to do? Suddenly, he had an idea. Oh, you have frightened me so much. My mouth is clamped shut. My eyes are popping. My knees are knocking. I'm wobbling like jelly. But you can't all eat me, can you? Who will be the lucky one? Who will have me for supper? I will, I will, I will. Get set. Then Shelly Shark snapped at Sam's sh snake. Carly Crocodile snapped at Shelly Shark. Sam Snake snapped at Terry Tiger. Terry Tiger snapped at Carly Crocodile. They went round and round in a circle faster, faster and faster. Toad watched them for a moment, then he smiled. Go! They are so silly that they have forgotten all about me. So 
So while the other animals swam round and round and round, Toad plopped into the water and began to swim. He swam and he swam. It was such a long way to the other end of the pool for such a tiny toad. The crowd cheered and clapped and shouted, Come on, Toad! Hooray! Swim, Toad, swim! Quick! This way! As he re At last he reached the end of the pool, the crowd cheered louder and louder. They went bananas. Hooray! Tommy Toad is the champion! Suddenly there was a terrible roar from the other end of the pool. The other animals had stopped swimming round and round. Roar! Quick, Toad, get out of the water! You don't want one of them to eat you after all, do you? Toad quickly climbed out of the water. He did not want Carly Cro to be Carly Crocodile's lunch, or Sam Snake's snack, or Terry Tiger's dish, or Shelly Shark's tea. But when he saw what had happened to the other animals, he began to laugh. They were all so dizzy, he could not swim at all. A lady gave the cup to Toad. Well done, Toad. You were so clever. You were so brave. You are the champion. Oh, they really didn't frighten me at all. Now that I've finished reading, go all the way back to the beginning for me and have a go at reading it yourself. If you are struggling, you can rewind the video and listen to me read it again, or on Oxford Owl, you can use the play button where they will read it for you. On this week's guided reading, we will be doing another word search. To access the word search, all you need to do is click the link that I will post on your portfolio. When you click the link, it will bring you to this page. You need to enter your name and press start. Once that has loaded, you'll need to press start again and you'll need to find the words down the side in your word search. Don't forget to send me a picture of your fantastic work. Enjoy!